name's Brogan, Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. Steve, you've seen the PI's report on this guy? Yeah, so? Shouldn't we take his threats seriously? We have, John. We have spent serious money on security. But you know what? Right, John. See you in the morning. Computer! Yes, sir. Security activate. Outer security perimeter armed. Inner security perimeter armed. Third level security armed. Good night. Good night, sir. We have one Stephen Dallas. Human male, age 42. CEO of Brett Interplanetary. Blown to smithereens. And we have a message. Presumably from our bomber. You know, Fredo, that kind of looks like your first wife's handwriting. 
We also have the testimony of John Kane, Dallas's partner. Seems they were caught in a high-stakes shakedown by someone claiming to be the snake. Yeah, the bad news is that this kind of shakedown does fit with the snake's known M.O. He's an extortionist, plain and simple, who's terrorized seven planets. Seven planets we know of. And in every case, the victims either pay up or they die, like Stephen Dallas. Hi, Bill. Hi. This is Sergeant Bill Gray, people, ACPF. He's the good news this morning. Gray knows more about the snake than any man alive. He's here to help us. The 88th is to be temporarily reorganized into a task force. As of 2,500 hours, all other cases will be finished or handed over to the 86th. Is that clear? I don't intend that Altor shall become the eighth notch on the snake's belt. Just another quiet day in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> ah, Castle, given your background, I want you to help head up the task force with Broken. With all due respect, Captain, I'd rather not. Take a seat, Mr. Kane. You never had any contact with a snake, Mr. Kane? None. Stephen Dallas got all the messages. How are you supposed to make the payoff? I'm not sure. Stephen said something about a computer transfer to Dana. And from there? I don't know and I don't care. I mean, what the hell difference does it make? Look, Mr. Kane, we understand how you feel. But if we're gonna nail this guy, we need to know everything you know. All I know is Stephen's dead. And if I don't pay... You're right. You should talk to him. Who? Frogan. Are you reading my mind? Who needs to? It's written all over your face. Just filling this form with your regular fist, Mr. Kane, you can be... Honey, you tell Zell I really don't have but time... But, Dad, Zell says you really, really need to get home on time tonight. Uh, okay. Tell her I'll do my best. Bye, sweetie. Officer Castle, what's up? Thought maybe I could buy you a cup of coffee? Sounds good. The problem's not me and Gray, it's me and the snake. Three years ago, Gray and I were part of an ECPF bomb disposal unit back on Earth. I'm impressed. Well, you should be. We were good. We were all good. The first time the snake hit our district, we defused three of his bombs in one day. We thought we'd beaten him. He set you up. Next time he went in, Gray and I were running the operation from a remote. It looked safe, seemed right. So we sent in the team. I'm sorry. Yes, but sorry doesn't bring any of them back. Yo, Prime Elder. Hey, Matt, where's everybody? Mom's in the garden, I think. And Liz? Short, mega weird earthling. About this high? Always saying, Zill says this, Zill says that. <laughs> That's the one. Look the bro, Dad. She's gone, vanished. Nah, she's at Charlotte's. So am I. Whoa, you're going to Charlotte's? No way. Get tweaked. I'm going to a Nazi's. Later. I smell a conspiracy. Actually, it's a steak. <laughs> this took a lot to set up, didn't it? Very sharp, Lieutenant. But somehow, I think it will all be worthwhile. Yeah, me too. Champagne. Sort of. <laughs> mm. What's up? Plenty. Take a look. Greetings, Talon Corporation. I am the Snake. Now listen carefully. You will transfer 60 million credits into the planetary bank of Dana by coded transfer within 26 hours, or the princess dies. Talon Corporation? What happened to John Kane and Breaded or Planetary? 
Looks like our bomber decided to do some double dipping. Cute. Why the computer generated image? Don't know, but Gray thinks it's the real deal. Okay. Who's this princess? Not who, it. It's an Omega-class tanker, and it's en route to Altor, carrying 200 million gallons of liquefied hydrogen. We're talking one major bang here. <laughs> when did Talon get this information? Six hours ago. <laughs> nice of them to let us know. Okay, I'm coming in. Uh, Sally. I know. It's your job to determine if this is for real. If you find anything, I want you to mark and identify, then back off. You follow me on this, Proven? Yes, sir, but I think... No buts. The Army is the first team on this thing. We're simply there to make sure it's not a hoax. You're sure about this, Gray? Would you rather look for the bombs yourself? Yeah, but turning an RSA into a bomb sniffer, will it work? It'll work. Nobody knows bombs better than Bill Gray. Nobody except maybe No Hassel Castle. Hi, Jan. Long time no see. Bill. No Hassel Castle? <sighs> it's a long, boring story. Come on, Officer Castle. What could ever be boring about you? My relationship with you, Haldane, for starters. Okay. All right, all right. Come on, slow mo. Let's go play with somebody nice. Like the snake. Why send slow mo, Captain? He's not equipped to handle this sort of work. At least call the boys over at the 98. They got a real bomb disposal robot. I'm sure Slomo would be deeply touched to know that you two are showing such concern for his well-being. If he had any emotions to be touched with, or a being for that matter, he's a robot! That's why we're sending him as a remote control unit! Do you get my drift? What about Castle? I think we ought to let her set this one out. Yeah. Well... Watch yourself. I have a choice. Oh, that is one big mother. The Princess Talon is an inanimate object. It cannot be a, a mother. Careful, slow-mo. I just may forget how to reattach your body. I think you're wasting your time, Lieutenant. The Chief and I have already scanned the Princess from stem to stern. And found zip. Whole thing's starting to smell like a hoax. Let's hope you're right. Sprogan, slow has got the hots in here. Airlock one. On our way. Detected traces of Semtel around the outer seam of uh, this junction box. Yeah, it's the snake's explosive of choice. It's also used in plasma welding, Lieutenant. She's less than two months out of dry dock. This whole section's been refitted. Can you call up the schematics? Strange. What? According to this, that junction box doesn't exist. What, engineering oversight? Wouldn't be the first time. All right, let's see what we got here. They got two conduits. Leading. Nowhere. Everybody back up. Congratulations. You've just armed four explosive devices, each which is linked to the outer airlock doors. No one leaves, no one enters. Any attempt to disarm the devices will result in the obvious. I repeat, all four bombs are now armed. You have 13 hours to pay or die. It's 
guy's really starting to tick me off. Three. Copy that for four. All four bombs present and accounted for. And as near as we can tell, they're all identical. Is there any way that you guys can get out of here? Let the army take over? Negative. The bombs are linked to the outer doors of every airlock. The only way we're going to get off this ship is by defusing the bombs. We're first team now. Have we heard from our bomber? Uh, no, 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 negative. You have to tell them, Captain. I'm well aware of that, Sergeant. Oh, wait a minute. Tell us what. What's going on? Talon's call for a headquarters in there. Uh, how shall I say? An infinite wisdom have decided that... Ah, uh, damn it. What the hell have I done with that communique? Damn it and hell in the same no. sentence? Not a good sign. Uh, here it is. For the past decade, the snake has nearly bled our corporation dry. Therefore, it is with deep regret that we have decided that we must make a stand. The Talon Corporation refuses to entertain any ideas of acquiescing in his continuing demands of extortion or blackmail. They can't do that. I'm afraid they can. It's their constitutional right. Constitutional right? What about our right to live? Captain, where will the Princess be 12 hours from now? We're on course for a scheduled stationary orbit over Demeter. Yeah, well, if it blows there. Can we alter course? It'll take a little time, but I think we can probably avoid being pulled into Altorian orbit. Why don't we just hit the brakes? We've been in full reverse thrust for 13 days. It takes two weeks for a ship of this mass to slow out of light speed. Rogan, clock's ticking. Set up slow-mo on a remote, and I'll talk it through the first device. We can't play this one bomb at a time, Gray. We'll each take a device. Slow-mo goes first, then me, then Haldane, then Captain Tacopa. We watch slow-mo, then follow in sequence. Yeah, makes sense. And if slow-mo makes a wrong move? The Princess is triple hulled. We can probably lose an airlock, even two, and still maintain hull integrity. Let's do it. Sergeant Fredo. Is up to definition. How's that? Like I was there. Uh, be careful, Slomo. I, I am a robot. I can only be the way I am. But your concern has been logged. You're welcome. Let's go, then. Hold it. I'm running the remote. You always were the best in the business. Right, Castle. No electronic devices scanned. No uh, mechanical devices scanned. OK, the front panel's clean. Reconfigure slow-mo. Then back the first screw out. The first screw has been removed. Take out the second screw. second screw has been removed. All right, Brogan, you're next. <clears throat> the 
So far, so good. Let's open it up. Carefully. Classic snake architecture. Uh, seems to be. Yes. You could disarm it? We need to figure out what's live and what's window dressing. And what could blow them away? Come on. We have two choices. Either we find the primary trigger and disarm it, which is quite risky. All right, all right, come on, Janie, cut to the chase. Or we find the main power source and pull the plug. Slow-mo, the rectangular device at the lower left corner. Reconfigure and identify. A, a visual scan indicates a stabilizer. No detected current flow. Window dressing? Oh, maybe. Slow-mo, reconfigure. Can you remove it? <coughs> Affirmative. Bingo, the power pack. You, you just unplug it? We try. Slow-mo. Reconfigure. Disconnect the power pack. Princess, come in! Princess! Please respond! your status? Uh, we lost our main antenna and half our air. The uh, primaries are down, but the backup's still working, at least for now. Well, that's the good news, I suppose. What about slow-mo? Uh, we lost him. And Haldane? Yeah, I thought you'd never asked. Just curious. Gonna go! If anyone has an idea, I'd love to hear it. Yes, call Talon Corporation and tell them I'm coming down there to get the snake his 60 million credits. <laughs> if I thought it'd do any good, I'd drive the getaway hopper myself, but... Well, that's great, Captain. We could put that on their gravestones. I'm sorry, but I've been down this road before. There were two of us running that op castle, I... so let's lose the self-pity. Or at least spread it around. Deal? Deal. Captain. John Kane on COM2. The snake just sent Brett into Planetary another one of his love letters. Put him on. Mr. Kane? I can't take any more of this, Captain. I don't want to die. If the snake got to Stephen Dallas, he sure as hell can get to me. 
I've decided to pay. You shouldn't have refused to pay. You made a very stupid mistake, John Kane. And I suppose your mistake makes you a genius. Go ahead. Pull the trigger, cop. You know what'll happen. One snake to go. <laughs> if I didn't know the sleaze bag was cooling his heels in interrogation, I wouldn't believe it myself. <laughs> Has he started talking yet? Nobody will. Yeah, well, it better be soon, because time's a wasted. He'll talk. I'll make damn sure of that, I promise you. Woo! If ever there was a time to celebrate. <sighs> oh, sorry. What is this stuff? Bergo brandy. Best there is. Oh, I'd hate to taste the worst. <laughs> What's going on, guys? She shut down. Check the conducers. I'll get the IOs. Who's working on it now? Gray's in there, then it's my turn. Gun! Code red, prisoner on the roof on level five. Code red! Burning through the deck plates. Come on! Great scimitar. Stay there, Bill. So much for the snake. So much for finding a way to disarm those bombs. Get these people out of here. This is a restricted area. Come on, you guys. Clear this area. So, we have three hours to disarm the devices. Uh, not anymore, we don't. When airlock one went, the debris did more damage than we thought. We've lost the engine. And our brakes. So what's the bottom line? <sighs> We're on a collision course with Altor. If we hit atmosphere with this payload... A lot of people are gonna have bad hair days. 
What did you guys have in mind? On my mark, we got 40 minutes. We take one more shot at disarming the bombs, then at 10 o'clock, whether or not we're still on board, have the military blow the princess out of the sky. Mark. Our long-range lasers are in position. They'll fire automatically. I sure as hell hope you can get your men off the princess in time, Captain. Thank you, Commander. What's that, Zill? You want Liz to clean up my room right now and all the closets? That's not what he said, Matt. Zill says... You're a Ziggle wart head. Mom, he's calling me names again. All right, come on, guys. I've had it. It wasn't me. Zill started it. <sighs> Do your homework now. Uh, yes, who is it? Uh, it's me, Sal. Hi. I can't get a picture. Yeah, it's a technical snafu, no biggie. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, look, I, I don't have a whole lot of time, and um, I just wanted to tell you. <laughs> Is this about last night? Uh, sort of. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'm sorry. We didn't... Yeah, well, I could have married a plumber instead. Well, what I meant was. Brogan, I was joking. What's wrong? I need to tell you. Daddy, Zill has something to say to you. Not now, honey, okay? A deceiver unmasked is still a deceiver. Isn't that neat? A deceiver unmasked is still a deceiver. What's it mean? Brogan, we're ready here. <sighs> yeah, all right. Um, honey, I've got to go. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll try and get back to you. I love you. Airlock two in position. Airlock three, all set. Airlock four, ready. Brogan, tell me everything you see. Okay, the flashing uh, cube in the lower left-hand corner. Two circuit boards, top left and right. And let's see. Wait a minute. There's something here that looks like a mirror under the left-hand circuit board. A mirror, of course. A laser trap. We need to pinpoint the lasers. Anything handy to dust with? Um, yeah, fire extinguisher. Try it. But point it away from the device. The temperature change could blow the bomb. Got him! Well, whatever you do, don't break the beams. That was Sloma's mistake. Any good news? Maybe. You said there were two circuit boards? Yeah, top left and right. Too many. You think one of them's a dummy? And it may be camouflaged for the main trigger. We find that trigger, figure out how to disarm it, and we could be home free. I'm sold. Just tell me what to do. Scan the panel on the left for energy readings. Uh, 6.6. .6. Now the one on the right? Nothing. We've got our dummy. Now remove it very carefully. Ah. That ain't a main trigger on my Trajan's uncle. Come on, bro, that made your family true to out of this. Tell me what you see. Uh, something that looks like a brass tube. That's the trigger module. There should be two plasma coils at the base. Right. And they're both fused into separate splitter units. Fused? Micro-welded. Negative. These puppies are in line and connected with screw-down wire connectors. Say again? They're connected with wire connectors. But that's impossible. 
Unless... Jane, what's wrong? Wait one. <sighs> We're up against it, and I need some help. Sure, fire away. Do you mind giving us a minute? Sure. The snake has always connected his bomb components using his own blood to microweld. All right. But for some reason, he's used regular connectors on this job. I wonder why. We all change. I guess we do. Because I've never heard of the snake shaking down two different victims at the same time, either. Mm, well, maybe he was getting greedy in his old age. Or maybe the snake never sent those messages to Talon after all. Maybe somebody who had access to the files ran a computer construct and generated their own snake. I, uh, I hate to admit it, Jenny, but I really don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the fact that nobody can figure out how the snake smuggled a gun into the station. As a matter of fact, nobody even saw him with a gun. Except you. Forensics will have a field day with this. You always were my best student, Jenny. You walked into interrogation, shot yourself with your own weapon, and then you drove the snake into the corridor where you blew him away. Why, Bill? Well, I'd love to give you a pathetic story about a cop's pay and so on, but the fact is, after 25 years of loyal service, I figured I deserved it. You did this for money? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Gray, that's one for the books. He's right here, and he's going to help you. Aren't you, Bill? All right, Gray. We've identified the dummy panel, removed it, and exposed the trigger module. We also found the laser trap by the power pack. So which one is it? The trigger or the power pack? Which one? Bill? Short out the power pack, then disconnect it. Toki! Can you tell him he's lying? He's as tightly controlled as any human I've ever tried to read. I can't be sure. Aldane? Decopa? Stand by. Deceiver unmasked is still a deceiver. Brogan, what are you doing? You've got less than three minutes before the military blow the princess into hyperspace. Do it, Brogan, do it! Huh? It's the trigger, guys! Yank the trigger! <laughs> no hassle castle wins. Oh, I love this job. Broken, we got 30 seconds. Let's get the hell out of here before the military blow this mother. Logan? Haldane? You rang? Hi, guys. <laughs> Just one question, Lieutenant. How did you figure it out? 
Uh, you got me, Captain. I haven't got a clue. Space Tug found him, somewhere between Danai and the Necrosis Nebula. Slow mo. Ow, ow, ow. Officer Oren, Officer Romer, give me two. All right. Yes! Ah! Hold on, Delmar. Hey. I just wanted to say thanks. Pleasure. Speaking of pleasure, what do you say about dinner tomorrow night? The Royal Straker on me. Pretty high class place on a cop's pay, Haldane. Yeah. Yeah, on second thought, you're probably right. Oh, no. You're not getting out of it that easy. Gotcha. It all boiled down to DCPD Lieutenant Brogan. None of us would be here if it hadn't been for Lieutenant Brogan and his team. There... You don't want to hear any more of the news? I've already heard it. <laughs> um, you realize that there are millions of people watching us right now. Oh, are they going to get an eyeful tonight? Mm. Oh. Mm. 